awkward to try to figure out the best way to start the meeting if we can't officially start our meeting yet. Um, so I guess the, the, the big takeaway that I can go ahead and tell you that I found from um, <clears throat> looking was similar to years past where many people taking the survey um, were wondering um, <clears throat> why they hadn't heard about any of these things <laughs> that are happening in town and feeling like we need to you know, advertise better and that sort of thing. Um, so I thought it was just an interesting takeaway, what we do with that information and how we, um, you know, as volunteers try to figure out how to get the word out. Um, we can maybe discuss at another meeting, but I found that that was some of the responses, the written responses reflected a little bit of that. So we can go over that. Um, and so I will go ahead, um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and screen share and, um, go from there. Can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. The survey? Yep. Great. Um, so the so you see there were two people who were not Wakefield residents who answered the survey. Um, and I'm not sure there's a way to figure out from the responses who those people are, but that's okay. Um, several projects funded, so we sort of listed, when I pulled this list, I tried to make it so that we had um, a library event, a school event, um, uh, music um, and theater, um, trying to just pull different things. It was by no means a comprehensive list of everything that we've funded in the past two years. Um, so we can, you know, take note of that. I don't know if it would have changed any of the results um, if we had done that, but I just thought I'd, it was sort of like a little check to see out of these things, what have you heard of? So um, the hip hop chair dance, uh, I think was at a Greenwood nursing home. So Clearly our survey didn't get to them, <laughs> but um, that was the only one where nobody had um, had uh, heard of it. And Linden Tree is by far the one that people know the most about, I think. Um, and probably because they do a lot of publicity in the item um, and they've been here for so long. And I think like we mentioned in another meeting, we've funded them almost every year um, to help with at least one uh, concert. Um, so definitely library events seem to be like at the top of the list. Everybody says keep funding those and school events, music, um, local art shows, drama production, senior events. So there's, um, you know, pretty much everything looks like people want to fund i'll show you what these responses the three responses that are not that are um here public art concerts on the bandstand fund grants in collaboration with wcat tv so um those that's something to sort of keep in mind i think when we are um when we're funding things that perhaps if somebody is looking for a venue, I don't know where she is. Um, I don't know how one does concerts on the bandstand. Sorry. That's okay. No, it's good. It's great to have you here. We now have our quorum, so I can officially start our meeting. <laughs> Very happy to be a quorum. Yay. <laughs> um, Great. So, so I was just sort of informally going over some of these survey results um, and I'll just sort of pop back up just to show you that we had um, a total of 34 responses to the online survey monkey. We didn't have any written responses um, and two of them are not Wakefield residents, but I'm not sure we can um, pull out which of those two, you know, are from these answers. Okay. Um, 
the <clears throat> only one here that people were not familiar with was the hip-hop chair dance uh, that was at a Greenwood nursing home, which makes sense. That was a very selected um, mm -hmm. small group. Um, <clears throat> Uh, although I, did, I skipped over this a second ago, 12 people said that they had not heard of any of these events. Mm. So that was that was pretty interesting, uh, especially with regard to, um, I guess, you know, many people had heard of the Linden Tree Coffee House um, and library. Well, that particular one at the library didn't get a lot, but a lot of people, I guess if you have kids in the schools, you might know about these Wakefield High School theater productions, but if you don't, then you 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 might not. Um, and I was actually was sort of the Wakefield Human Rights Commission is relatively new as far as the history of the town. So it was good to know that, you know, the same 12 people had were from familiar with that Pride Month celebration. Um, so what we were going over when you popped on, Diana, was this, um, um, the responses to <clears throat> what else would you like to have funded? Will you, what uh, do you feel are important to continue funding? And people um, said public art, concerts on the bandstand, and fund grants in collaboration with WCAT TVD. Um, and so that's just, I think, something to just tuck away in the back of our head as, um, things people would like to, <clears throat> to have done. I think um, we actually do have some things this year with in collaboration with WC, uh, WCAT TV, but um, I didn't put them on our list. So, because um, they haven't happened yet. <laughs> um, then, <clears throat> you believe the funding uh, programming to date has reflected the diversity of the communities which make up Wakefield. So we had uh, 24 people say yes and eight people say no. And so I want to go over those responses. Um, so s quite a few, I think, said they're new to town, so they just um, don't really know. Um, so actually really interesting people who answered no most of them it looks like it was actually they answered no because they didn't have another answer like there was no um not applicable because i'm new to town or something like that at, on the survey it was either yes or no um so that's just i guess future information for doing a survey that we might take into consideration is um, another category, maybe, um, because it's not actually that they feel that the programming doesn't um, represent what people want in Wakefield or reflect the diversity. It's just that they don't know if it does or not, because they're not aware of the program. Um, and then this last concert, I'm um, conflict, sorry, last. Um, comment was good, um, that somebody who is aware of lots of our programming um, thought it was great. What types of program would you like to see, programming would you like to see more of in support of Wakefield's cultural efforts, um, music and theater, creative writing, outdoor events, public art installations, visible art, more plays and musical performances, outdoor performances, uh, Black and Asian history, cultural events, Wakefield specific artists, past and present, or local artisan spotlights, adults of all ages, seems to have many in place for the schools, or types of music, outdoor events, movie nights, um, programs related to Wakefield's history, art shows, concerts, theater, um, Elementary age drama theater at the school, student music, student artwork. Lots of ideas, which goes to the um, realization that most people don't realize that we are just a grants allocating organization, not coming up with the programming. 
And so I think that, you know, it gets it gets to I don't know exactly if that's a problem we try to tackle or not. Um, but it's definitely clear that through lots of these um, ideas, um, people think that, yeah, think that we're coming up with the programming more like um, some other organizations have done in the past. Um, but I think that it is great to know the different types of things people um, would like us to fund, right? So um, this, I think it would be a good um, page to keep here so, so that when, when we're getting these requests in, we're on the lookout for um, <clears throat> all these different categories. So that might be, yeah, that might be a page that I, I try to take some sort of um, information from in order to make sure, um, and maybe when we're doing our priorities, I think that all of these still really fall into the broadness of our, of our priorities, but um, we can also discuss that. Um, am I going too fast for anybody? Can you see all of the things that I've gone through? Yeah. Got it. Do you think are the three most important issues related to arts and culture in Wakefield? <clears throat> State and town funding for the arts got the biggest, um, which is great since that's what we do. <laughs> uh, access to art and cultural studies in public schools, attracting artists to live and work in our community, programming that appeals to all ages, supporting diversity in our arts and cultural programs, neighborhood revitalization, and other. So as far as those, before we get to the other, um, I think, I mean, this basically falls along what we've been doing, right? We're taking the money that has been allocated to us by the state and funding whatever arts and culture um, that we, that falls within the priorities. Um, access, the, many of the public schools are the ones who um, apply to us for grants. Um, attracting artists to live and work in our community, um, I think is just a, I'm not sure we actually have any influence there, but if we do more events in town where we, we, um, the types of that we haven't done before, that, that might, um, that might, uh, sort of put a, that more on the, on the map, um, all ages diversity in our arts and cultural programs. Um, that's definitely a priority <clears throat> um, that we already have. And so we'll we can keep that. Neighborhood revitalization. Um, I'm not sure how much that falls within our scope, but I still think it's interesting that, you know, some people that was a priority for them. Um, I think it maybe falls in our scope as in the same category of attracting artists to live and work in our community. Um, but perhaps there's another lens to look at that one through too. Uh, so these responses, the two people said publicity is something and reaching new people. <clears throat> so I think that's goes to like one of the notes that we should just make as a committee that we want to tackle at a future date. Like how do we continue to get the word out about these different programs and reach people that that don't know about them. Um, which specific population segments should we aim to reach through public funding of cultural projects? Um, the highest number was families uh, and teens, and then seniors, low income, people with disabilities, communities of color, immigrant communities, um, and then single adults, young professionals, and other. Um, <clears throat> so that we can talk about if there's a way to word any of that to put in our priorities or not, uh, if, if a blanket statement like diversity works, or if there's other ways that we try to reflect any of that. Um, the responses to other, all are important. If programs like Linden Tree Concerts continue to have cheaper ticket prices than all of the above 
can attend. Lots of seniors and low income do come. If they can't pay, they volunteer. That's an interesting um, piece of information that we can, um, it just helps when we're, if Linden Tree is applying for a grant, helps us to know that. Um, shouldn't art be for everyone? Truly need to be a variety, not one focus. All of the above, everyone deserves cultural projects. Adults that might have families and or children that are returning to their own interest in hobbies after caretaking for many years. Okay, I think I understand that comment is like um, empty nesters, maybe to put a, put a definition on that people who are, <clears throat> or people who have who've been caretaking in some way, but are adults that would like some other things, other um, to know about other things in town to do. Um, everyone, right? So, so that I think lots of these comments are not um, ex not other as in new ideas, but just sort of backing up. Um, basically, that all of these different communities should somehow <clears throat> have some. Um, focus in, in our priorities. Um, what other feedback would you like to share related to our community's needs, interests, aspirations regarding all arts and culture? I'm grateful there's support for the arts. Professional musicians and actors are having a particularly hard time earning a living. <clears throat> Just keep the same programs and maybe add other different ones. <clears throat> None at this time. As a supporter of Linden Tree, I know that a grant from the Arts Council allows them to bring to Wakefield talent, which otherwise they might not be able to. Wakefield has been a destination for music, the craft fairs, celebrations like the Italian Festival, which would be better renamed a multicultural festival as we do have Asians and Hispanics living and working in our community. <clears throat> I think uh, they need better publicity. I wasn't aware of a lot of these events and I get the item and subscribe to the patch. So that was, you know, that one is one that sort of pops out at me as um, again, like, let's take that idea and start to discuss it in future meetings. It doesn't necessarily reflect, reflect today's discussion on priorities, but it's an important thing to know. Um, I found the question, which specific population segments would we aim to reach to be confusingly worded? I answered regarding who should be funded, but maybe you meant what audience should you aim to reach? Um, and that's interesting because no, actually the person was right. The, what we were asking is who should be funded. Um, <clears throat> you're doing a great job, thanks. <clears throat> Welcome any opportunity to use unexpected places for events, public art installation experiences. Thanks. More funding. <laughs> I'd like to see more involvement in the schools. So that's another interesting thing because of how many schools actually do apply for the grants. Um, probably a PTOs in all of the schools apply and receive grants each year. This past year highlighted the rift between perceived cultural, particularly native in Wakefield versus actual cultural awareness concern. I would love to learn more about Wakefield's actual native history and present, as well as arts and cultural. Would love this focus on the schools, especially. It can be confusing, like to see a flow chart. Less esoteric, not everybody wants interpretive jazz. Improve access for mobility challenged, none. Keep up the great work. I hope this survey will be widely publicized. I saw it through a small Facebook post, but would never have known about it without doing a lot of Facebook scrolling. Thanks. I think that was our very first comment. So I think it got a little bit more traction after that first one, but um, also goes to um, lots of the ideas that I've been trying to figure out myself, like how without uh, spending money on advertising and that sort of thing. How do we continue to let people know what's being funded and um, and what we do? Do you guys have any questions or discussion things you'd like to um, hammer out here? Did this, so you said this came up before the- any, um, Anything surprise you from 
Say that again. I, you said, um, is it common themes that came up the last um, survey? Yes, the common theme was actually um, people not exactly understanding what the Arts Council does, mm -hmm. that we don't come up with the program that program programming, excuse me, that we just fund when people apply for grants, we we vote on on those grants, which which groups get them. Um, and the other is uh, people knowing about the projects that we that we do. So yeah, so one of the things that that's why when we did the pro the priorities three years ago, we wrote on on the priority like description um, to make sure that they um, they're supposed to when a when a when an organization does a grant funded um, either production or exhibit or anything, they're supposed to thank us on their program or wherever. There's a little thing where they're supposed to say thanks to the Wakefield Cultural Council or the Massachusetts Cultural Council. You've probably seen it on like you know program books and things. Um, and we've also asked people to like our Facebook page and that sort of thing, just to try to get a little bit more traction and knowledge. Um, but I'm open to trying to figure out other ways to get the word out about, you know, that Wakefield has a cultural council, or now arts council, and that we, um, and what we do. And there's never been any articles in the patch about the there, I think we did an article like that three years ago after we did the priorities, we sort of did a, you know, here's who we are. So, and I think that that plan goes well with the beginning of um, when the grant cycle opens. So that might be a great um, idea for us to write another article that goes to the patch and to the item and anywhere else that says the grant cycle's open. You know, here's who we are, Wakefield Arts Council. This is what we do. Grant cycle opens, um, and um, and we can hold another like info session, or there might be an online link to an info session that the uh, Massachusetts Cultural Council will provide us, so people can walk through the application process. Um, online. Okay. I do this for a living, so I'm happy to help with publicity. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. I was going to say something about along those lines too. I mean, are we? And I've I'm because I'm a member. I, I don't think I've noticed this, but would it make sense to have uh, a semi-regular update that's posted on like the Waitfield community pages on Facebook instead of just our own page? Yes, I think that would be, that would be a great idea. Um, and so far the way that we, you know, our, our, what we've done on Facebook has basically, Facebook's been the only one that I'm aware of. I don't use Twitter um, or Instagram. Um, and I've relied on other people. I think now it's Sarah Guerin who mostly does the, she's the admin for the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, and so like even this past time, all I knew and in, in my low tech way of doing things was to take that post she made on our page and share it to uh, the groups that I'm a member of. So there may be a more effective way of doing that. Um, I mean, I would be happy to like kind of write a a, a post, like a, a friendly little post as to like updates as with as to what's going on um with our group for those pages. Um I mean, in this case, we can say thank you very much to all the people who um participated in the survey. Um these are uh, and so this is and the whole thing about how. Um, explaining what we are as a group, as opposed to what what the what they got out of uh, what they got out of the survey um, and that kind of thing. And then um, when when grant season becomes open, we could post something there too. So um, um, I'm I'm happy to to do stuff like that because I know that there's several several Facebook groups. I don't think uh, I mean I'm on pretty much all the social media, and I think Facebook's probably the the best bet for actually reaching people. Um, 
Twitter for things like um, for things like town councils or like local government and things like that. It's not very effective. Um, maybe maybe Instagram, but I would say fo primarily focus on Facebook. Okay. And would it help you if um, Sarah made you an admin as well? Um, sure. <laughs> so we only have a Facebook page. Is that? I we may have the others. I think so. I think baby J Jamie might have gotten us a Twitter handle and a and Instagram. Maybe I'd I'd have to ask her. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Although I, I don't, I mean, I don't see a lot of people locally using those as their primary sources of information. As, as I said, like, I mean, Instagram, it might be fun to put up some pictures when we have, when we have events, but for the most part, I think people are getting their local information from Facebook. Um, we don't really have any place there's the kind of the one page on the town's <clears throat> site on their on their website that has a couple lines about who we are as a group but that's that's the only place right i think so yeah so when mm -hmm. yes the, the town that was the, our website that the town made for us mm -hmm. um, and i don't know i think it's my gut tells me it's easier to update Facebook than to try to do any updates on, on the website because there's just so many people it's got to go through. Yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think those ideas will be really helpful to just continuing to try to get, get the word out about, you know, who we are and what we're doing. Um, and I can, what I'll do next is actually share um, our, our old priorities and see if there's any updates from what we've read here that we might wanna, wanna include. Let me just re, I'm gonna stop sharing and then reshare my this next screen here. Okay, do you see council priorities? I do. Okay. Um, well, actually, yeah, I see the, the, I see the Zoom invite. <laughs> oh, okay, wrong, wrong screen. Got it. I knew that would happen. Um, here it is. Now, do you see it? Yes. So programs that are accessible and serve broad segments of the community of Wakefield. That seems like it was still um, you know, something that, that appeared on all of those results. Promote diversity within the community of Wakefield. Programs that are innovative. Um, so, and then online, online applications we just put in for our own, like, uh, I think most of them have to be online anyway with uh, Massachusetts Cultural Council and the um, guidelines that Massachusetts Cultural Council sets up um, and the grants um, are reimbursement based. That's just to make sure people understand that when they apply for the grants, uh, they don't immediately get the money. They have to uh, basically spend their own money and then ask for the reimbursement. Um, mm -hmm. For future discussions, there is another way to do it. We've just not tried that yet. Other towns are, are we're, we're sort of in the first tiers of let's see if we go ahead and have a immediate grant system. Um, so, so we can discuss that and you know for future years. Um, and this is where we put the, you know, to try to get the word out a little bit, um, just so that you know, people, we can continue to, to get the word out. Um, and so any other ideas from the surveys, like these first three, 
um, innovative, promote diversity, and are accessible and serve broad se segments of the community. Any other wording or ideas from that result that you'd like to add in? Um, How do people feel? Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, you, no, you, you go ahead. I'm still forming the thought. <laughs> um, I, I was going to say, how, how would people feel uh, about something along the lines of um, uh, like represent a uh, like a variety of mediums and formats? Because I think there was there was some people called out some types of of art that they didn't feel were represented. That's a great one. Yeah, so um, programs that, let me just see if I can go ahead and write this. Um, programs that represent a variety of mediums and formats. Yeah, I think that works. Any other ideas or or comments or? Um, I mean, just got to notice that my I... internet connection is unstable. I hope it doesn't uh, affect us too much. Um, eh. um, so programs that um, <laughs> align with the desires of of uh, the feedback from Wakefield community members. Oh. To sort of put that right in with our priorities. Yeah. Like put put the wording. Right. So I'll I'll write it down. Let's see. So you said priority um programs that um align um, with align with the feedback, align with the feedback um from uh, the 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 desires based on feedback from the Wakefield community. Um, yeah, I, I I backed up a little bit. Sorry, you, you broke up a second again. There, there, let me just. Let's... Okay. <laughs> Programs um, that align with the. Um, Desires of, the wake, desires of the Wakefield community based on uh, from the community Wakefield feedback. community. Well, there was another word you had. Uh, desires was it? The <laughs> desire. I can just put it in the chat. Desire, the. Let's see if I can put it in the chat. 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 Hmm. Where is the darn chat? I'm on my I'm on my iPad. I'm usually okay. on my computer. <laughs> All right, I'm back now. Um, <laughs> All right, so we were. I was just saying programs that align with the. Um, I was trying to figure out a better word than desires with the, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Opinions. How about opinions expressed? That works. So my question is, to share my screen again so you can see it um can you see that again the council priorities yep so my question is in the in this 
first part up here where we say priorities were determined from those responses, do we need to put, put it in the list as well? Um, I, I'm trying to think of a way to word the top instead. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think, even though it feels like it's repeating, I feel like it's something that could still be stated in the bullet points. Mm -hmm. Because other, I mean, otherwise it would just be an assumption as opposed to laid out. Okay. Unless somebody is, unless somebody disagrees with me, which is fine too. <laughs> any any other discussion about? Um, I think there's. I'm still not satisfied with the wording. I yeah, I know what you mean. Opinions. Um, I guess I'm just wondering. Are do we? If, just to ask the question, do we align with everybody's opinions? Like, are we giving? I don't know how to. Well, right. My 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 thought about that was that it's it's one of the things that we consider, and mm -hmm. it's it's a prior it's it's considered a priority, but it's not a hard fast rule. Right. I guess it's the wording then. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, should I? Um, should I specifically re-mention the survey since that's the only way we had to get the opinions? Yeah. I definitely think that's yeah. yeah. As opposed to as opposed to somebody who just calls and decides like they didn't like what they saw, so they their their opinion you no know, makes a huge difference or something. <laughs> right. Right. Or or the or implying that we might like you know, troll Facebook and gather opinions of the community that way, which we wouldn't. Yeah, do. yeah, so, no, fair enough. Uh, okay. Um, are there any other? Uh, I don't. Broad, broad segments of the community promoting diversity. Um, oh, so here was another thing that we didn't ask on the survey, but I think we might add in here is um, programs with pre um, determined venues will be given priority. Oh. It's not that again, it's not going to be exclusive, but that that idea that um, um, even predetermined local venue it's that's giving the priority to wakefield to perhaps you know on the bandstand or in the library or whatever um yeah but that helps i think applicants know that if they give us something that says um i want to bring my band to play in wakefield but they don't know where and they haven't talked to anybody in wakefield that it's difficult for us to prioritize giving them money if they don't have more of a plan than that. So yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying. I just want to add something to because I remember for the last meeting, um, it wasn't just about um, locales, but also timelines. Right. Yeah. Um, is, it, is there a way to say something like, because it could, you know, there's the there's, uh, performing arts venues, but there's also sort of like, um, you know, maybe a, a place to publish something or a gallery or something like that. I, I wonder if it's um, <clears throat> um, like uh, programs that have, I'm trying to think of a uh, kind of broadly applicable, um, like a, like a, 
uh, a fully created plan where the audience can view the work or that's, that's not even really capturing it well, but it might, sorry if I'm not making a ton of mm -hmm. sense, but. Um, no, I know what you mean. So priority is given to um, to applicants with um, I want to say like fully developed fully developed plans, but I don't know really like fully developed you know venue or approval or timeline. I don't know the right wording. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I mean, it's basically saying the more complete your, your application is, the better, right. um, including, including uh, predetermined um, uh, venues, venues and or timelines. How about predetermined venues and timelines are encouraged? Sure. Yeah, I would, put, like I, would I would probably put that near the bottom since it's not. Right. Does that seem does that seem like it works? It's broad, but it's maybe highly encouraged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That seem good. Any other ideas or um, discussion? How would people feel about something like um, programs that showcase um, unique Wakefield, like? Um, specific uh, talents or, well, I'm trying to get at um, artists that are from Wakefield or programs that feature something that is uniquely specific to it being based in Wakefield. Because there was, there was a bit of a thread oh, in there. Yeah, like that's not there. Wakefield crafts people, something like that. Right, that's, that's true. Um, uh, so programs that, um, feature, I mean, you want, so you Wakefield. want to programs that like have a tenable link to, to Wakefield residence, um, culture or history. Yeah. Yeah. I like that uniquely connected to Wakefield um, artists, culture, history, something like that. That sounds nice. That's that what you said programs that are uniquely connected to Wakefield artists culture and history. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure no, if like said. uniquely connected or even just or even just a tenable link. That have a tenable link. Okay. Um, either or I, I, I don't want people to feel like they were necessarily like they necessarily have to be from Wakefield in order but as long as it is Wakefield related. Right, right. So that's where we get into offering the discounted tickets to Wakefield residents still can fall in that category. Um, right. Sort of, because it's got the Wakefield. Um, and, and again, this is not exclusive, but is given priority. Yeah, um, absolutely. So that, yeah, right. Okay.
That's great because I, I I did notice that as well that there was definitely a um hey, that was a nice catch. I uh, part that. people in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Okay. Any other ideas or discussion? I think this is pretty comprehensive. I mean, I think there might be a little still a little tweak in the wording that needs to be done, particularly the survey, but Okay. I think you, the list is pretty solid. Okay. Do you mind? Can I um, can I send this to you, and you can like if there's wording that you want to tweak around a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 in a very stuffy room right now, so my brain's not working as well as I'd like it to. <laughs> yeah. So that's where yeah I want to make sure like I can I think as far as sort of open meeting law rules go. I can send this to one person and they can send it back to me, but we can't send it all around the group because then we're not, it's not an open meeting. Um, uh -huh. So that's why I was just, you know, um, wanting to see if you want it, we could do it that way, or if somebody else wants to take a crack at it and has ideas and you want me to send it to you instead, happy to do that. Uh -huh. um, editing and wording is not my strong suit. <laughs> um, I mean, so if somebody, any, somebody, any other, if somebody else really, really, really wants to do this, I'm happy to step back. But if 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 nobody wants to do it, then I will do it. <laughs> I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Um, awesome. Right. Okay, so but, but as far as content goes, maybe not specific wording, but as far as content goes, can we get a vote? Um, yeah, from everybody to say uh, yes or no. Everybody, yes, uh, raise your hand. Uh, or Lori, you can write yes in the chat or say yes. Great, awesome. Um, okay, so then as far as the next steps, um, we'll we'll tweak the wording a little bit, and then I'll publish these. Um, through the um uh, what's the what's the deadline again tuesday yeah tuesday okay um and and then i'm just out of curiosity has anyone had a chance to peruse the new website yet i know we get does everyone get the emails from the wakefield i mean from the massachusetts cultural council yes yeah anyone I not did, I, I, I did not I'm look not at getting. it I I'm not getting them. You're not getting them. Okay. I don't think so, I've got, I don't think I've gotten them either. All right. So let me I will send the last one that I got uh, to everyone and send me a note back if it's the first time you're seeing it so we can figure out how to make sure you're on the the email list. Um Thank you. I'll check yeah. my junk folder too because sometimes many things yeah that i really nice. want go there right. that's great i i've definitely been getting them caroline um so um at least they're, they're working on some level um i took a look <laughs> I, I logged in and created a, a new password and, and that kind of stuff so but that's about as far as i got into it okay yeah I've been getting them, but I, I have to admit, I've been skimming. <laughs> right. So that's, we could probably, if we, before the beginning of September, you know, in the next four or five days, whatever that is, um, if we could take a, take that time to just pop on, log in, create the pass, password, um, and then um, that means you will, it'll be much easier when time comes to, um, have our, our big voting meeting on on the grant allocations and I um, yeah we'll see I, I don't know for how long we're able to continue doing the zoom meetings but I, I think that that law uh, extended for a while so so we'll see if our next one we continue this way okay um, any other uh, questions or anything that um, you want to discuss um so when is our next meeting did i miss that in the beginning no no we haven't um we haven't said when the next one's gonna be i think 
as far as the different things we need to do by around the beginning of September is when we should um, write press release that says basically, you know, who we are um, and that the grant cycle is opening. I believe one of the last emails we got said, don't say necessarily that the grants are opening on September 1st because their website is slowing things down. It may be just the beginning of September sometime. Um, and uh, so that will sort of notify the public through the item and through the patch that uh and then through our facebook posts that people are free to apply for grants um then our big voting meeting um will be usually sometime in november or december which i know is a hard time of year um and that's when we will our responsibility will be to like look at all of the different grant requests that have come in on our own time and figure out our ideas of what we think deserves um, deserves allocation and then we get together and sort of discuss and hammer it out and um, and allocate the amount. I believe the last email we got also said that we've received the same amount this year that we received last year, which uh, I think is $10,500 um, to allocate. So um, I believe that's what that last email said, because that last one I, I skimmed through. Does that sound, <laughs> anybody else who read it? <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Uh, uh... stop screen sharing now. Um, let me see if I can quickly find it and then I will know exactly what we have. Um, yes, allocation amount. Oh, you know what? We don't know how much we've been given yet. I think this is that's what we were given last year. Was the ten thousand? Okay. Uh, ten thousand five hundred. Was the last one from uh, August ninth? Um. I've got something here from August 25th, but this is the one that um, this is from Lisa Simmons, who tells us how much is talking about meeting with the financial officers to discuss um, the annual report. So I don't know. I don't remember the other one. Okay. I just look so at that. Sounds. I think the August nice sounds sounds. Yeah. Really so good. that's the one. That's the one where it tells you that you have to basically re-sign up for the website um, if you've already signed up for it, um, and that you just basically have to request a new password and blah blah blah. For the yeah. One website. of the differences with this new system is. As a as a whole cultural council, we had we all had the same password last time, and now we all have our own. That's one of the big differences. Mm, getting fancy. Okay, so I think our main order of business is taken care of. Um, so I will send Diana. I will send this to you, and we'll work on the wording a little bit. And yeah, I'll work on it. I'll work on it tomorrow when I can turn the air conditioning on, and it won't drive everyone crazy. And then I will uh, send out a um, an email with uh, notes from tonight's meeting and um, our next steps and next meeting. Okay. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Ira, for taking care of the survey. That was really, really. Thanks.
and uh, no and <laughs> and uh, thank you everybody for all of your all of your work and help with everything. And I will be in touch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye.